So today I thought it would be fun if we checked out 10 weird reality TV shows. Now you know our motto on this channel is to stay weird, but some of these TV shows would definitely fare a little better being cancelled. Which most of them were! Before I get going, take a minute to check out the description box where you'll see a list of names of lovely humans who are members of the Karma Goal crew over on Patreon. This tight knit community make it possible for me to produce the videos for you guys, so if you see them in comments below, say boop! Coming in at number 10, it's an experimental TV show made by Channel 4 called Shattered. I watched this intensely when it was on the television, and the interesting thing now is that they've buried it so far down the internet that you can barely find anything on it. What it boiled down to was basically being Big Brother without any sleep. The contestants were supposed to go seven days without ever sleeping. Now if you know anything about lack of sleep, there comes a certain point where that becomes really dangerous and unhealthy. There's even a creepy pasta online which references a Russian sleep experiment where people supposedly went without sleep as a part of an experiment and by the end of it they were ripping their own organs out and scratching their eyeballs out and stuff so this was a cheery topic for a television show. The contestants were originally competing for a prize of a hundred thousand pounds but if at any stage a contestant closed their eyes for more than 10 seconds a thousand pounds was deducted from the prize fund so you can imagine what it was looking like toward the end. Hallucinations and odd behavior were really evident early on in some contestants. Numerous contestants suffered from both hypnagogia and hypnopompia, which is basically dreaming while awake. Right, well, I'm the Prime Minister of Australia, so they better do something. Throughout the series, the contestants had to do a number of challenges, much like on actual Big Brother, but their challenges involved cuddling a teddy bear in a warm bed, watching paint dry and receiving a relaxing massage. As you can imagine, a show like this started getting major backlash while it was on air, and they decided to allow the contestants to sleep for two hours every day, which was kind of a bit of a cheat if you ask me, but also resulted in them not going crazy, I suppose. On the last day, all contestants were sent to bed in the dark, and the last contestant to fall asleep was the winner. Claire managed to outsleep the other contestants by two hours, and the crew had to actually tell her to go to sleep at a certain point because she was making erratic head movements. It turned out she was just trying to signal that she wanted to go to the bathroom, but she thought if she talked, she'd be disqualified. So yeah, they never did again because it was actually super dangerous. The next really weird TV show was one called The Swamp. This was an American series, and they basically took the idea of Extreme Makeover which was already airing on the television, and made it competitive. The idea was that they took an ugly duckling and they made her into a swan. And at the end of it, the two girls who had been made over would actually go head to head in a competition where people would vote and say who was more pretty or less ugly or, you know, super progressive. My favourite part of these shows was always the before and after photos and the before they'd be really badly lit and they'd have horrible underwear on and they'd look sad. And in the after they'd always look really happy, have really great lighting and lovely clothes on. And at the end of it they'd decide who best conformed to a set of societal beauty norms. Anyway, ultimately the show was cancelled due to negative publicity. And then another show popped up a couple of years later called Bridal Plasty, which was basically the same thing with a lot of the same production elements. Hmm. This list would not be complete without referencing a Japanese television show and my god there are so many to choose from. It was really hard to pick one but I've gone for Strip the Girl as the weirdest. So there'd be a girl and she'd be in front of a bunch of boxes and the other contestants would throw stuff at her while being distracted by other things and eventually the one who could get her naked was the winner. Ew. The reason I picked this one over other ones is because I can kind of get on board with the ones where people basically try to injure themselves, like the game where they do human Tetris. But there's something especially creepy about that particular game. A close runner-up for this pick was the one where the guy tries to sing karaoke while the girl... Well, she... <laughs> distracts him. The next TV show is called Hurl, and it did just that, well the contestants did. It pushed the competitors to see how far they could go without needing to vom. They did crazy food challenges like speed eating and eating a massive amount of stuff. Who does that? And then they'd make them run around and basically the last person who threw up was the winner and they had major bragging rights because the prize sucked. That's right, the prize money for this show was a thousand dollars. So basically you were just doing it for the kudos where you belong to a friend group where everybody just brags about how infrequently they throw up when put under a lot of pressure to throw up. Huh. Up next we have another lovely television show called Something About Miriam. 
The show featured a pre-op transgender person who was looking to find someone to fall in love with. And how did they manage to exploit both the contestants and the subject? Well, they kept everyone in the dark about the status of the subject. I was born as a man. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> ah yes, the beginning of a good relationship, open and honest. Up next, somebody thought it was a good idea to give Jerry Springer a TV show where he just had a lie detector test. And I'm gonna be honest, this was a great idea, and it also made my skin crawl when I watched it. So a contestant would be hooked up to a lie detector machine and in front of all their loved ones and co-workers and colleagues, they'd have to answer a series of questions, much like who wants to be a millionaire, leading up to a bigger and bigger prize. So if you're a pretty down the line person, you're probably thinking, cool, I'd just get hooked up to the lie detector test and I wouldn't lie and then it would be easy. It turns out we tell a lot of white lies in life. And whatever the production process was for this show, they were awesome at finding out people's lies. And adding Jerry Springer to the whole thing just made it all more salacious. Do you think most of the girls in your town are tarts? <laughs> yes. I found it really weird to watch because you don't realise how many white lies you tell throughout your life. But they did pick especially diabolical people to feature as the subjects. Next up, it's a television show in America called I Wanna Marry Harry. The Harry in question is Prince Harry from when he was a bachelor and surely lots of women want to marry a prince. How cool, they got a prince to feature on a reality television show. Well, no. No, 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 no. They got a guy who looked exactly like the prince. Oh Jesus, is that him? He doesn't look anything like the prince. Given that the whole premise of the TV show relies on him looking exactly like the prince, you'd think they'd get somebody who looked exactly like the prince. But no. So it was a dating show a lot like The Bachelor or Joe Millionaire, where the women competed to ultimately be the last one standing. And at the end, the big reveal was, again, it's not the person you thought it was. Good luck with the relationship. Next up, it's a touching television show called Who's Your Daddy? Now, many people in society grow up not knowing their biological parents for a lot of reasons, and some seek to eventually meet those people, and it's a very personal, touching moment. So let's exploit it on a television show! So they'd bring in the kid, and they'd bring in the parent, and a bunch of people pretending to be the parent, and they'd all feed the kid a story, and then the kid would have to decide who is telling the truth. Ah, improvisation, I enjoyed that course in acting school. But seriously, these kids would end up crying over these emotional stories the actors would tell them and then it would turn out that's not true. The actual story is horrible. How lovely. Of course it got cancelled. The next weird TV show is called Sister Wives and what better TV show than one that features an illegal act? This show featured a polygamous American family in a country where polygamy is illegal. Now, I'm a person who's actually very open to hearing a lot of people's theories and ideas for their way of life. Despite living with a bunch of women, he still managed to call them chicks on every available occasion. Wow. Many episodes saw the wives, the husband, oh, and, and their children, yeah, they had children together, running from the law. I believe they're still fighting a legal battle over this, but yeah, they got their bums cancelled. And the number one weird television show that I could find on the internet, let me know if you know any weirder ones below in comments, was one called Blackman. This show featured a popular Danish television host, Thomas Blackman, who would bring in a special guest every week and they'd have intense cerebral conversations. Oh no wait. They'd let a woman walk in, disrobe, and then talk about her naked self. Oh, just to clarify, she didn't talk about her naked self, they talked about her naked self, so yeah. The idea was that it eventually led to stimulating conversations about more earthly topics, but I mean, let's face it, that's not really the best way to start that kind of conversation. Or maybe it is, in a strip club. I know there are a ton of weird television shows out there, so let me know below in comments the weirdest television show that you've come across in your part of the world. And that's it, feel free to engage with one another in a respectful way, and I'll see you later in the week. Bye. Numerous contestants suffered from both hype, hypnagogia, Numerous contestants suffered from both hypnagogia and hype. Numerous contestants suffered from both hypno. hypnopompia. No, 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 no. So let me know below in. They played. Ca but in, in. Ew, just ew. Ew, What's your favorite TV show? Is it Lassie? <laughs> he didn't even like that one. Ew, that show is gross.